tractors still have a massive fan community, despite not being in production for over 30 years. Usually anyone that has a bear, as they are more affectionately known, doesn't let go of it easily. Nowadays, the rarer types are often sold for significantly more than the original new price. We were lucky enough to be able to film exclusively at a field day in South Germany. Our journey took us to Upper Schwabia, just to the southeast of Ulm, Germany. This was the location for the very first Schluter Zeisert Schofen Field Day. Christian Schmidt organized this event to bring together the members of a Schluter fan club that formed many years ago. One Sunday in August, 18 Schluter tractors joined forces to take care of some field work. The tractors shown here are from the Compact and Super series and are some of the most successful and popular models produced by the Schluter plant in Freising by München. The oldest tractor here was built in the 1960s and the youngest left the production line just before it closed in 1993. Let's start with the oldest tractor in the lineup, this S650, which was built in 1965. The S-Series, particularly the S650, represented many technical advances for Schluter. It was the first four-cylinder tractor that they produced and the first type that was also available in a four-wheel version from the start. The two-wheel plough is therefore a good choice of implement here. Patrick got the 56-horsepower tractor to celebrate passing his Master Craftsman certificate. The S650 was also the predecessor of the Super Series, which was introduced in 1966. Along with the Super 350, the Super 450 that you can see here was one of the smallest models from the series. The three-cylinder, 48-horsepower tractor was actually the least powerful machine at this event. The Super 550 had a four-cylinder engine, but only an additional three horsepower compared to the Super 450. However, it was a lot smoother to drive. In terms of the engine technology, only power units manufactured by Schluter were used in models from the lower horsepower classes. Even though Schluter also manufactured large and high-capacity six- and eight-cylinder engines, they actually used man engines in many of their larger tractors. At the beginning of the 1970s, Schluter made their first foray into large tractor construction and started working on a larger range of tractor types and variants. One of the best-selling and most well-known tractors from this time is the Super 1250. With a production period of 23 years, the 1250 shaped the development of Schluter right until the end. The six-cylinder Schluter engine with a 7.1-litre capacity and 125 horsepower provides the power for this tractor. Staying with this model, next up is a 1250V from 1971. The V in the name stands for four-wheel or all-wheel drive and this variant took over from the earlier rear-wheel version. Patrick brought the tractor to his home in Algau from the Hungarian-Romanian border a few years back. It took him five years and countless hours of work to restore the tractor. It was important for him to restore his treasure so that it was as close to the original as possible. The 
the 1250 family was rounded off with the Super 1250 VL Special model. The Special indicates that the power has been increased by 5 horsepower to 130 horsepower. Compared to the standard straight six-cylinder engine, the pistons and cylinder liners were enlarged, increasing the engine capacity to 7.4 litres. Only 300 units of the Super 1250 VL Special were built. This particular tractor is highly sought after among collectors and is worth around 70,000 euros today, surpassing the original price in Deutsche Marks from when it first came out. Likewise, the super tractors, with their wider and hydraulically tiltable cab, which were first introduced in 1977, are also incredibly popular among collectors. This 1250 VL also has the black cockpit, which was first added to the tractor in 1979. Schluter's compact series hit the market at the beginning of the 1970s. Initially, the tractors had three and four cylinders, but they were later replaced with a six-cylinder variant. This tractor is easily the most successful from the compact series. Over 1,700 units of the compact 850 model and its all-wheel counterpart, the 850V, left the Schluter production line. It's worth noting that Schluter equipped the compact series with a so-called mini-cab, which was around 15 centimetres lower than the Tractomobile cabs used on their super tractors. This compact 850, which is almost fully equipped, was restored after the transmission was damaged and is still in daily use on the owner's farm. A rare feature for this series is the turbo coupling. This 1350 TV6 is the most powerful member of the compact family here today, with 130 horsepower. Although this isn't strictly true, as this tractor was actually originally a 1250 TV6. The former owner sent the tractor back to the plant to have a 1350 TV6 man engine fitted. The result, an additional 10 horsepower under the hood. Collector Anton brought this tractor along to the field day as well as three other Schluters. It's a 50 km per hour high-speed variant that would have originally been painted in silver. Schluter also used to offer Calypso Red Metallic as a colour option for an extra fee. The inspiration for this came from neighbouring car manufacturer BMW, who used the same shade of red on their 3 Series. We're sticking with custom colours for the moment. This next one was actually created by the tractor's owner. Christian organised this event and brought along his Super 1050. In its first life, this six-cylinder tractor spent a lot of time towing a fodder mixer wagon and had to be out in the fields every day, even during the cold winter months. Unfortunately, this resulted in the cab and mudguards being completely eaten away by rust. Christian restored the parts and came up with the idea of the black powder coating at the last minute. When it was introduced in 1974, the 1050 was the first Schluter to only have all-wheel drive. However, Christian unfortunately also had to repair some damage to the transmission. The part-time farmer invested around 10,000 euros in a new clutch bearing and new transmission input shafts. If he hadn't taken care of the repairs himself and had them done by a workshop instead, 
it would have been significantly more expensive. The Super 1500 TVL accounted for some decent sales figures for Schluter. Over 1,200 units left the production line between 1972 and 1978. Here at Field Day, we saw two of this type of tractor. A brief visit to the farmworld.tv archive. Four of the same size wheels and significantly more engine power brought Schluter some prestige, but with less economic success. At the start of the 1970s, the Schluter development team tried to target new customers, particularly outside Germany, with the all-wheel drive Profit Track. For our film series Modern Classic Tractors XXL, which is available as a double DVD and a 4K video stream, we managed to track down a Profitrack 3000 VL. With 300 horsepower, it is the third most powerful Schluter ever produced. Now back to the field day in Zeisertschofen, where this Supertrack 1600 TVL came along to help out with the stubble mulching. Ludwig, the owner of the Super Track, wanted to show us the hydraulic tilting cam, which enables easy access for maintenance work. Unlike the Profi Track, the Super Track is a somewhat slimmed down track variant without an all wheel steering system. Only 90 units of this best selling Super Track remain today. This tractor is still in good shape and would certainly be able to tow a wider implement. Bernhardt brought along his compact 950 V6, one of the youngest participants here at the field day. His father bought the tractor new in 1988 and collected it from the plant in Freising himself. As recently as three years ago, this 90 horsepower Schluter was still being used on the family's dairy farm, working around 600 hours a year. Schluter experts know that the silver paint means that this tractor is the 50 kilometers an hour high speed variant. This was offered as an option from 1986 and Schluter pushed this previously rare feature for a tractor so much that not even ZF, as the transmission supplier, could keep up with the development. The additional shift linkage was summarily flange mounted to the existing transmission. The overdrive could be activated with a separate lever. Michael brought the most recent and probably the most valuable Schluter to the event. His tractor is this Super 1250 VL LS Special from 1989, of which only 34 units were made. The tractor is in excellent original condition, still has the original tires and only has 4,400 operating hours on the clock. The LS in the name stands for the two-level power shifting, which can be activated by the knob above the gear lever. We were amazed by the enthusiasm for Schluter tractors that could be felt in every corner of the field today. Christian and his friends hope to turn this into an annual event in Zeiser to Schofen. In any case, we are thrilled that we were able to attend and grateful to have been there at the start of the day. has fallen. The powerful tractors from Freising are getting in formation for their final outing. You can find lots of other films about farming and agricultural engineering, for example about some of the legendary tractors from the 80s and 90s at www.farmworld.tv.